In the morning, nothing but grunts. With no coffee, that's as dangerous. On a skip from one to ten, I rank it. That girl from Stranger Things. And if you get what I'm saying, y'all, my attitude be mad flagrant like I'm Draymond. But you ain't get the picture, BFP. So I'm gonna keep pushing on you, GNC. It's like, yeah, the first thing on my mind is when that hot coffee gonna seep into the coffee grind. It's like some magic's going on in the air. Toss some ice cubes in my cup, it's a good day. I gotta say is that it's starting in a good way It's time for working and I don't even care Just wake me up, just wake me up, don't let me down Just get me caught, just wake me up, just wake me up, just wake me up, just wake me up Just wake me up, just wake me up, just wake me up, don't let me down Get me caught, just wake me up, 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 just wake Everything starts back with your coffee beans. If it's cold brew, then it's gotta be coarse. Don't get the cart ahead of the horse. Start learning the course. But of course, you can disregard. And don't at me if it gets too hard. When it's my time to drink, man, it's always on hand. Drink from a cup or a bottle, even a can. You never know when you're craving no hit. It could be in the bathroom while you're taking a... Hits my lips, it's a seance Feeling real super with the cape on Anything I'll take on This cup of coffee, yeah boy, this is the shit Just wake me up, just wake me up Don't let me down Just get me caught, just wake me up So I guess that's where I talk about How we might be addicted in a roundabout Kind of way or how you say A dependency that's in my life And I'm proud to say it's filling me With way more energy than I'll ever need Keeping me up for things I thought I'd never see Time's gonna kill us all one day Whether old age illness or from listening to Coldplay F that noise, my beloved love Drink all the coffee, chug a lug lug The day doesn't start till you're on your second cup If they talk before then, huh, homies better die It's 100 Good morning, all of you beautiful nerds from around the world, and welcome to the morning stream here on the Den of Nerds Live, the very best way to start your nerdy day on today's show. Disney bad. Disney bad. They've ruined movies forever. If you haven't heard, Mulan is coming to Disney Plus and the price is kind of steep. They are asking for your firstborn child, uh, your least favorite uh, appendage, um, and that's only to watch the first half of the movie. It's pretty wild, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how Disney bad ruining movies forever. But at the same time, are we going to have to give Disney our firstborn children and our appendages so that we can actually see Black Widow? Probably. Probably. We're going to break all that down and more. Before we get into it, let's say what's up. Let's say good morning to all of the beautiful people in here. Hector's in the building. Trinity's here. Nerdvengers assemble. Hell yeah. West Coast Nerdvengers throw them high. Heard that. XR Coons here. Mr. Deed, Steve Denton. Russell, Stormy, Bryson, Star Wars Santa, Riot H, Renee, Brian O'Connor, Awesome 80s, Rob Van Camp, Ray Hall, Darth Clean, Lavis is here, Boshti is here, Coachella Coastal, David Nations, Brian Bufka, Dan, the man, Andrew Gates, Fan Jexer, Steve Denton, Jason Bonzo, RC Scott, Boss Keaton, Donnie, Renee Wilbreath, Rob Van Camp, Jonathan Velasquez, oh, Kendall Jackson's here, Kendall Davis. 
friggin' Indra Sly's here. Yinzer Jim. Woo! Lots of awesome people in here today. World famous as well. What's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? The vid ended on me. Oh, that's weird. All right, let's uh, let's pause the music. Let's talk show notes real quick, as we always do. I know Kendall Jackson. Trust me, I know. I heard it. Uh, yeah. So, healthy and happy. Beautiful thing. Okay, show notes. Tonight, eighty percent chance that the Nerd Card Showdown is happening. And I wanted to let everybody know that's watching this right now, or perhaps it keeps cutting out. Oh, shit. Let me try one thing. Oh, no. Oh, no, Chet. Oh, no. You know, honestly, this is probably Adam's fault. Because yesterday we were working on um, stuff for the stream, and Adam's like, "Hey, do this, do that. Hey, do, hey, do this. Hey, hey, try this, try this, try that." Stream on your end is great, no issues. You see nothing, really? An error occurred. What the hell? It says the stream health is fine, but there's an error that occurred. What? Try to reset it. Try to, try to, uh... Try to reset it. It looks like it's good. No? Is this working? Dropping in and out. I'm good. I'm good. Got to go out and come back in. Huh. Okay. We'll keep an eye on it. If it continues, if it's crazy still, same thing happened to you on Adam's stream. Wow. Okay. Might be YouTube. Could be YouTube. We'll keep it going for now. And if it gets, uh, if it gets real, real bad, um, we'll restart the stream or try it again later. Okay. Look, um, I got an email, I believe it was actually yesterday, but I just uh, checked it out this morning that some people, some people have been affected by, uh, I believe either the hurricane or the tornado. I have to look at the email again, but there's a possibility that some people's internet and power might be affected. Um, we might have to push, uh, tonight's, uh, nerd card showdown to next week. I'm not hundred percent. I think 80% chance we'll be able to go tonight, but there is an outside chance that we might not be able to do it tonight. I can't get in. Didn't get it in again yet. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to do about that. This we'll wait a little bit longer and see, cause we can always refresh the stream. I can drop, I can like drop the bit rate. Got kicked out again, man. That's so weird. It looks like it's fine on my end. Like every metric that I have is saying that we're good. Wow. Ah, oh, man. How disappointing. Stream is running fine. We're good over here. It's not you, Josh. Yeah, it might be. Okay. Well, case in point, case in point, uh, there's some weird stuff going on the internet today for some people. Um, so did I piss off YouTube? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I pissed off YouTube. Wait till I, well, we'll I don't even want to say it. We'll get into it in a little bit. Okay. Disney coming to get you. Hey man, come on, bring it on. Okay. So 80% chance nerd card showdown happens tonight. Um, if not, it will just be pushed back to next week. So I'll try to let you guys know, uh, as soon as possible about that also nerd vengers members and guys if you're not a nerd venger member of course look we love our broke vengers we absolutely do but we give a ton of goodies to the people that become nerd venger members the little join button right next to the subscribe button if you join in you get access to these cool badges 
and you see the blue badges, and as they go on in colors, you're going to get like cooler and cooler looking badges, just as a kind of a swag thing. But on top of that, we've got a ton, a ton of cool exclusive content coming to the Nerdvenger members. Tomorrow night, you get After Dark, members only. Friday night, the watch party. We're going to be watching something on, on the Netflix members only. Saturday morning at noon, I guess it's Saturday afternoon, a exclusive stream. We're going to be talking about stuff with just you guys, me and you, just kind of chatting it up. So you get three exclusive streams in a row. And then if you're a Nerdvengers Prime member, we will stream on Sunday as well. Okay. Well, I can't get in. I'll check out the recap. Man, that is so unfortunate. Look, for now, we're just going to keep rocking. I don't know what's going on. Everything on my end says that we're good here, guys. So I don't know really what to do, okay? Um, but yeah, if you haven't joined the uh, Nerdvengers yet, consider checking out uh, the membership today. It helps the channel out. We don't focus on Patreon anymore, so it's a big thing for us uh, to help out the channel, and we're giving a bunch of goodies with it as well, okay? Now, let's talk Black Widow. Let's talk Black Widow. And let me try to just get, like, some chill music going on. Oh, man. I hope uh, I hope you guys are still with me. Yeah, I think it's YouTube. I stopped watching my phone and switched to desktop. Yeah, I think it's YouTube, guys. I think it's YouTube. Let's see. I'm probably getting blown up right now by people trying to tell me. This is what it does. It says the stream ends and come back after the page refresh. Huh. I really... Yeah, I don't know. I think it might be a mobile thing. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I saw you, Sly. I saw you. Thank you, brother. Okay. Anyway. Again. Growing pains. You know, maybe it's a YouTube thing. Who knows? Anyway. So, yeah. Kind of unbelievable, guys. Look. Uh... Let me check. I'm going to check our poll, and I saw Adam bring up a poll that had a lot of uh, votes and engagement on it, and it was like, fuck, it was like shocking. I was like shocked when I saw it. Um, so, man, where's our poll? How come I can't see the poll? Okay, here we go. Wow. Okay, so our poll isn't as crazy. Our poll says, and we were asking about Black Widow specifically, and I suppose the other polls were mostly asking about um, Mulan, okay? But, hey, welcome to the Nerd Avengers. Um, our poll asked if people would want the same thing that they're doing with Mulan to be done to Black Widow. So 48% of the people that voted in our poll said release it on Disney+. Plus. Uh, 29% said wait for theaters. And 22% said both. So really, you're kind of looking at like 70% of people that are okay with it coming to Disney+, Plus, basically. But what I found to be very surprising was how negative people were about this price point for Black Widow and how many people are pretty vocal against this happening. And so I wanted to start there today and I just wanted to open that up and let's just talk about it because what like what are you guys thinking? You know what I mean? Like will you guys be getting Mulan on VOD? Yes or no? Are you are you getting Mulan on VOD? Yes or no? <laughs> I will watch this XR King. By the way, XR did we did we get XR back in the Den of Nerds After Dark uh, chat on Twitter? I saw him hitting us up or something like that. No. Yes, I'll pay 30, says Santa. Not right away, but eventually. Nope. Also, no. Fitness Girls Magazine says yes. I'm good with it. Just rebooted my iPhone. It seems to have been fixed. All right, cool. That's good to know. Um, no. N Mulan, no. Black Widow, yes. Uh-oh. Yes, I might wait a bit. 
Jordan says there's a poll. I'm voting for VO2. Oh, the poll. So this is another thing. Um, we've we're trying to be much more active, and I'm gonna get little clicky link things on the stream so you guys can just go to the Twitter, to the Insta, to the Facebook. We are doing a lot more on social media now. And we're really trying to do a lot of polls and get a lot of info from you guys, okay? And so we put a poll up on Twitter. I believe there was a poll up on Insta. Might have been one on uh, Facebook. But eventually, like, once we get rolling, we'll have them on all the different platforms. Uh, and we want to just get a, a lot of info from you guys, right? So, I mean, I was really surprised. And then, like, guys, if you want to, like, let me let me see something here. Because, like, we can go. You want to check out something really fascinating. You look at the comment section on the video we did yesterday. It's just it's just so interesting how many people are so upset about this price point. And it's hard for me to, like, decipher. Like, is this real? Is this just, like, an initial, like, re you know, kind of, like, being pissed? How much, how it, how real is this shit, you know? How real? Let me see, because I think I want to go into the theater to... Actually, there's a couple of things that I want to do in the theater, so we'll probably head in there in just a second, guys. And you know what? Adam, if you're in here, dude, you said something about how it's not a pay-per-view rental. It's like you get it through Disney Plus if you make that $30 purchase. I think that's a, I think it's a big deal, man. Like, is that true? Is that true? Is it true? Whoa, what's going on with Streamlabs? What are you doing, Streamlabs? Didn't Adam just gave us all this great advice. You're supposed to make everything better. And now everything's worse. Adam! Adam, why are you doing this? Let's see here. Yeah, it's Mulan. Okay, Mulan. Bam. All right, let's head into the theater, mother truckers. Head on into the theater. Okay, so let's look at uh, some of these comments, yo. This is crazy. Ryan coming in with the super chat. Thank you for the love. Says PVOD should be at least 50. 29.99 is a steal. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. What's going on with the stream game world intel? We're not sure, man. I think we think it's a YouTube thing today. Everything on our end looks good, brother. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Let's check this out. Look at, I mean, let's just look through the comments, dude. Like, this is crazy. Okay. The studios are going to have to adjust from the theater streaming. I know pirating is a big concern. We get pirated. Glad to see Disney taking a lead. That's fair. Honestly, I just want to watch Black Widow. That's cool. I just want to watch Black Widow on Disney Plus. Awesome. Um, why don't they do more driving? Okay. So Anthony here says, hell no. I only want to see it on the big screen. We waited so long for Black Widow. She deserves a big screen outed. I see this uh, attitude, and Beckett might even be in here. Um, I see this. I see this thing here. I see this attitude uh, uh, a lot. Uh, Wu Tang Well says Disney Plus. I, I I don't know what he's talking about. I would never put out a title that said Disney Plus instead of Disney Plus. <laughs> this guy's this guy's drunk. Send him home. Uh, SS Forty similar thing. I don't know. It's probably a sock puppet account of of Wu Tang Wells. Uh, you know, a Russian bot. Okay, twenty nine ninety nine is way too much. 
Too expensive. 30 to own, yes. To rent, no. MCU movie, maybe. That's a lot of punctuation. I'm not going to pay 30 for that. I'll stick with the cartoon. $29.99 is too much to watch a movie once on your television when you can wait a few months and own it on Blu-ray for $19.99. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the VOD wills succeed because there's a lot of mindless sheep in the world. Yeah. I mean, like, guys, are you like, this is crazy, right? I like the model, but 30 is rich for me. I can go 20, but not sure if I would go 30, even for Black Widow. Wow. I have Disney Plus already. I'm not going to pay more to watch a movie. That's another thing that I heard a lot. Was like, if you're already paying for the service, why would you pay for an additional thing? And I'm just like, I just don't think people get the sort of economics of this whole situation. Uh, $29.99 for a rental is absolute ripoff. Like, this is wild, dude. I also read Bob Chapek as Deepak Chopra for some reason. Interesting. Uh, dang, Josh, haven't watched one of your videos for a while, but dang, you have grown some muscles. Hey, I like that comment. <laughs> that's, that's very nice. That's very nice to say. Uh, yeah, but so that opinion is like espoused a lot there, right? It's too high. It's too high, right? It's pretty wild. But you know, you know what, guys? I want to know what Trinity... I want to know what Trinity from Second Street Marvel thinks. You guys know Trinity? You ever heard of Trinity before? You know who this is? I'm going to give him a call. Let's give Trinity a call. Let's see what Trinity has to say if we can get him in here. Let's see what Trinity has to say. Trinity! What's up? What's up, my brother? How are you? Doing well. How about yourself? Good. A little tired today. Uh, not going to lie. It was a tough one for me to get up. I think I woke up at um, 9.55. <laughs> I had to do this nice. whole stream, make a thumbnail in less than 30 seconds, get the whole thing coming. Out. A lot of people don't know this, Trinity, but I sleep in this gaming chair, and I sleep like, here's what happens every day. I'm like... Nine fifty-five. I rise and I'm like streaming, and then that's that's how that goes. Um, I, I totally understand. Right on. Uh, but yeah, so dude, we talked about this a little bit yesterday, but I want to get your your feelings on this Black Widow situation. What do you think, man? Um. Well, I mean, it hasn't happened yet, so I'm not sure what everybody's freaking out about. Uh, I mean, I think Mulan coming out is an indication that yeah, it's going to happen, and. Anybody who's like, I'm like, here's the thing is we finally get to see it. Can we just be happy in that? Like, right. can we just be happy there? Um, because I think this is one of those movies that when theaters open, do open back up. And even if there's theaters that open up, you know, when, uh, whenever they're ready to release it. Um, the, the thing is, is like, it's still going to be playing at theaters. The theaters aren't going to have anything to play by the time they open up and everything's kind of open back again. And it, they're going to need movies and yeah. They'll look. They'll look to newer movies as much as they are the like the old uh, old classics. Yeah, I'm with you, dude. Uh, it is kind of interesting to see how this many people have been this negative about it. Um, what do you make of that? Like, what do you what do you think that is? Uh, people are just freaking out, dude. Do you think 30 is just way too high? What do you think about that? Um. Well, here here's the thing: is like. You're gonna order it with like like let's not. I mean, maybe you're sitting at home by yourself and you're and you're wanting to watch it. Maybe, but chances are, uh, most people are gonna have their whole family, or you might call a couple friends over and be like, "Hey, you know, you want to watch this?" Oh man, yeah, sure, okay, yeah, let's do it. Or you know, whatever. However, however it is, you get group, groups of people together, and they know people are gonna do this. So um, I. I I think the price is reasonable for me. I think it's reasonable even for a movie like Mulan that, you know, honestly, I, I don't know. I might spend that much taking, uh, taking the kids to see it. Cause like I'll, I'll discount everything, you know, it's like going on Tuesday for my local theater to get a deal and then using coupons. Yeah. I'm, I'm clipping it up, man. I'm uh, yeah. 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 No, and if they don't want my coupons, I'm going to carrying it up. Yeah. You got it. There you go. Carrying it up, coupon on coupon it up and then carrying it up. If that doesn't work. No, I'm with you. I, I think it's a great model. And I know that 
the Universal thing, what Universal did with AMC, it did put some pressure on Disney to try to figure out what they're going to do. Everybody's dealing with the same situation. And I think the AMC Universal deal sort of put Disney in a weird spot. And I personally think that what they did yesterday and what they talked about yesterday was not originally what they wanted to talk about. That once the Universal thing happened, they had to scramble even more. But I have also heard this this tier model that they're talking about, the premium tier. Some people came out on uh, like Twitter and Facebook and stuff. They basically said that the Disney team had been working on this for a while, and they've been working very hard on it. And basically, they insinuated that there is no way this is a one-time thing. This is this is now the thing. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I mean, is is that so bad? Like me, I love seeing movies in theaters. I think everybody here knows that. <laughs> if if they've ever heard me say anything about the movies and stuff, I love the theaters. I want to see things in the theaters, but. Obviously, the way things are right now, I just want to see movies. Can you just give me? I just want some new movies. Yeah, you know, I'm okay with the high with the higher price. I've said you know, for Black Widow, I'm willing to go more than thirty. Right now, <clears throat> I think it's good that they're putting uh, their people into this, uh, their resources and things, because we've seen how like that first. I don't know for the first little while when Disney Plus first came out, it was rickety as hell. So hopefully, they they've got a lot of that worked out. And then plus thinking about how they're going to add this on as like a premium service to it where you're paying this much money or something like that. Or who knows, maybe they add another tier to their subscription service where you get some of yeah. these movies there um, with this with this kind of model. Uh, I, I mean, I think it's a good thing to like, especially for movies like Black Widow, because as we all know, it's part of this bigger universe. Yep. You need to get these movies out there. Um, the the price point for for most people uh it's it's gonna make it it's gonna make a difference whether they want to get it or not but honestly i think for me i'm you know i, I think 30 dollars is pretty reasonable yeah no totally dude the 30 dollars is a hundred percent reasonable like people that don't think it's reasonable maybe they're just like doing it on their own like maybe they would just have been watching this on their own uh they're not like a family person or they're not really thinking about a group of friends throwing in on it for a weekend and trying to watch it a couple of different times. They're not, right. they're not thinking in terms like that at all. They're just thinking in terms of like, Hey, $30 is way more than the ticket price. Um, and so I think there's a lot of that. I will say I'm interested to see how this price point works. I wonder how they came to this price point. I bet there's people over there that wanted it to be higher. I bet there's people that wanted it to be lower. And I'm curious if my gut tells me that they actually did this with Mulan and they're kind of quietly hanging Black Widow over this same thing, essentially trying to incentivize people to do this with Mulan if you really want to see Black Widow. What do you think about that? Well, here, here's the here's the thing. I, th I think um, the, the the exact thing with that is they're gonna look at it like this: if Mulan comes out, does pretty good at thirty dollars, right? They're go to Black Widow's gonna be higher. Black Widow's gonna be more than thirty bucks. Okay. Yeah, because um, they're you're gonna be sure. if if Mulan comes out and does good at thirty dollars, they're gonna be like, oh hey, we did we did great with this. We know people will pay more for Black Widow, plain and simple, and they will. We will. I will. Yeah, no, you're right. I'd probably pay 40, 50, maybe. Yeah, it's yeah, tough, yeah. dude. Because, because really, like, uh, what were the, the other movies that were coming out doing the same thing? They were all about twenty dollars. Um, to like, I think they were like nineteen dollars, nineteen ninety nine, um, to rent. Because I think like they did that with like The Hunt and you know some of those movies. I think they were all like twenty dollars for like the like the forty eight hour rental. Um, so I think they kind of know with like something like Mulan, they're like, oh well, we're we're Disney, thirty dollars. We can do it. It'll be it'll be okay. And then once Mulan does, if it does decent, they might be like, okay, Black Widow's good. Yeah, go hike it up another ten dollars, forty bucks. There you go. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It's so it's so interesting to see how this is going to go down, man. Because they could potentially make a lot of money from this. 
You know what I mean? And if they make like a ton of money on this, like what do you think is going to happen? Like this is the future day and dating. And I'm trying to think personally of like what would I prefer? Because, you know, so like when I was in Philly, like I had a group of friends, we would always go to the movies together. Right. And like I loved it, man. Like I love going to the theaters. I love going with my group. But to be all but to be honest, nowadays I'm actually more in tune with like you guys, right? And like with our sort of nerd group. And I'd prefer to watch the movie with you guys. And I'd also prefer to be able to talk about it right away, like with you guys. So like if you think about it from my perspective, it is way better to get it on Disney Plus. I could throw a stream up, we could all watch it together even though I can't put it on screen. We can all hit play at the same time, we can watch it together and then immediately when it's done, we can come up uh and do a live stream. Not only that, we might be able to scrub through it a little. We might be able to pull it up on screen as long as we're not we're not playing it. I think I can pull it up on Disney Plus and scrub through and do a dope ass theory video or like a breakdown video where we're literally like going in on it together as a community. Yeah. I think that adds a lot of value. And there were there were the internet was already going in this way where a lot of our experiences are now shared digitally. We're still sharing experiences, but we're sharing them digitally. So like for me, if this continue, if this is the new model, it would be a like it would have to be even among MCU movies, it would have to be like a really big one, like an Avengers level movie, to even get my ass into the theater. Do you do you what do you think about that? Like, do you think this is a concern for the theater experience? Like, are they is this Disney drawing a line in the sand and being like, we're done with that? Well, yeah, you know, and it's funny because I was thinking about this the other day. As remember, you know, several months ago, there was that whole thing with the guy from NATO and, and all of that stuff. And they came out and they, you know, they said, hey, if you guys start doing this, you know, we're not going to, you know, when mm-hmm. the Trolls World Tour came out, right? Yep. Everyone, you know, they, they came out and kind of drew their line in the sand. And at this point, it's really kind of like, well, at this point, you're in trouble. So we got movies we got to put out and we need to make money on these movies you are you can't you can't be open. We need to get these movies out there so people can watch them. We can, I mean, we just got to start making money, and maybe they do do a thing like we've heard talk about, where they're going to cut them in a little bit on some of the you know some of the profits for some of these things. But plain and simple, like I just said earlier, when the theaters open up, they're going to need movies to put in uh, to put into their theaters. And you know, I mean, are the studios going to be like, oh hell no, f you? I doubt it. But at that point, the tables have turned in, in this case. So. Yeah. Um, I think, I mean, obviously this is something, this is kind of where we've been at anyway. I I mean, anybody who wants to be like, I'm, I'm not even resistant to it. I just want to see movies in theaters. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it Um, seems like once you're on board with it, I mean, you're living in the past. You know, what's funny too? Like I thought about this. What if like your first, what if you actually want. Like, think about this. What if you want to get it digital first, watch it a bunch of times that weekend, and then maybe that Monday or that Tuesday when it's less crowded, then you want to just have a a you experience in the theater. You just want to – because I love doing this, dude. Like, I love going to, like, an afternoon matinee by myself and, like, catching a flick. Like, I believe I saw – like one of the last the last Spider-Man movie, like I watched it and at the like the opening night and all that. And then it was like the following Monday. I went and caught it in matinee and just just ch- chilled, you know. So do you think that that could possibly happen where like even the consumer behavior changes? Because you love the theater experience. But what if it's what if it's easier, cheaper and better to get it at home first and then go to the theater? What do you think about that? Um, I don't know that it's ever really going to be cheaper to get it at home first. <clears throat> I, I mean, maybe yeah. it could be. Um, I mean, just it, it could be. I just I don't know that they would ever do it really like cheaper. Maybe for certain movies and things like that. But uh, ultimately, if it came down to it, like I said, I always want to go to the theater. And when I go to the theater, I don't care whether it's a Monday or a Tuesday. I always try to go on on days when there's you know try. To, I always try to go to early showings anyway. And plus. 
first showings. I like to go to, like be the yeah. first two, but you know, <clears throat> if things get too weird, what I will do is I'll put out calls into the local community to get all the nerds there, so we have that experience there. Dang it, yeah. we're not gonna miss. No, we're that's not gonna miss Yeah, I'm I'm with you. You know what else would be cool too? And I'm just kind of like just going off on a tangent, but a lot of the theaters are, at least in my area, are offering like uh, snacks and like curbside pickup and so what i would do if i was a theater owner i would create like weekend theater at home packages and so like even if you're gonna go get mulan on the disney thing but you still want to have some of the theater experience come on in for 20 bucks here's a nice snack package that has the theater popcorn your theater snacks, you know, maybe even some of that shit, like the mugs and shit that they have, you know, for concessions, because this is where theaters make most of their money anyways, is concessions. So right. I would try if I was like that. And you know who's who would be really smart is somebody do this right now and you'll be very wealthy. And then all I ask is that you just put me in your will. If you were to create an Uber like app. Would would bring this kind of snack, like an in-between from the theaters to people at home, you'd be making some money. I feel like that's that's probably, I mean, they kind of already have like GoPuff, but they don't have a direct line to the theaters. So you, you know what I mean? Like you go figure that out, the logistics of it, and then uh, you'd be making some money. What do you think, Trim? Um, this is kind of like my business and what I do. Oh, have, what? What what what's that? I've heard of this peanut peddler thing. Is that what, what what's going on with that? Um. Well, yeah. It's 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 my franchise. It's my franchise. It's a franchise business. I'm a franchisee. But uh, yeah, it's the it's a franchise of the Mountain Man Nut and Fruit Company. And what they do is like basically what I do is I go around to local businesses here in my area and service the, uh, most of my people that way. But uh, you know, with everything that's been going on right now, kind of been doing doing stuff like that. I would go, you know, set up at certain places in town, and you know, also just getting in contact with customers and letting them know, like, hey, you know, if, if you need snacks, give me a call. I can deliver anytime. And even that's something I've actually even been doing uh, here over the past couple of days is getting uh, gift packs and putting them together yeah, with just yeah, a yeah. different variety of things um, at a discounted price for people to uh, to buy and check out. So if people are in the california area they should be hitting you up when they get mulan certainly certainly and you can always check out the website too yeah certainly hell yeah hell yeah and all those (laughs) links are on your uh in your description and whatnot right certainly yes definitely rock and roll brother rock and roll all right so i want to go over a couple of super chats here trev came in with one said wonder woman 84 29.99 exclusive on hbo max but its sub price is fifteen dollars, double Disney's. So if I, I think what Trev is saying is, if other studios try to replicate this model, how do you think that's going to go? <clears throat> um, I mean, I think it's a model that a lot of them are going to start doing. I mean, it's it's a smart thing, especially because like you have your streaming service, you got to be subscribed to it to even get access to it. So I mean. You, you kind of get at least a month, uh, at least a month uh, subscription, and then plus plus the the price on top of that. I mean, I, I mean they they've got to do something. And really, what do these studios, if they have their own streaming platforms, what do they owe anybody to have to um, put it on certain platforms or anything like that? Um, I do think, however, it would be a little bit smarter to have it available every, you know, through all of them, just like they did uh, with a lot of the other ones that have come out already. But, hey, I mean, this, this is the studio's call, and uh, I think they're going to make their money either way. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I think it's – yeah, The that discussion is so interesting because I get where Trev's head is at, and I do think that is a hang-up in consumers' minds because they're right. literally like, I'm already paying – why should I, you know, do this? By the way, how did this never happen to Hulu? Hulu was a service that you used to have to pay for and watch ads. And I think it still is for, for, for the majority. That's the stupidest business model I've ever heard. And everybody's always loving Hulu. But, yeah, so a lot of people are butthurt about the fact that you're going to pay subscription service and then get the option to have this stuff. I mean, look, I think the subscription service for the, for the streaming content, that's the model. Okay, so if is HBO Max overpriced? 
kind of a consumer decision to make, right? That's based on what you get for that 15 a month. I don't think it's uh, overpriced. I really like the service. I spend a lot of time on there. However, they do need to start adding content and they have a nice wheel rotation on there as well. So um, I think it's worth it. But I don't think the additional tier or option really should make that big of a difference. And if it does, like, think about this. The people that really want to see Wonder Woman 1984, like, the when it comes out, if they did this on HBO Max and they didn't have HBO Max, they had additional $15 to get it, and then the fact that it might be locked into the service for the $15, does that suck? Yeah. yeah. But it's also what Apple's been doing forever. Apple has a closed ecosystem. Everything... Apple has to run through the Apple ecosystem. This has been around for a long, long time. It's up for you to decide as a consumer if that is good or bad for you. And ultimately, the market will decide. It's a beautiful thing about markets, Trent. Like, it's just, it's this thing that's going to tell you. It will tell us, ultimately, you know, is this viable? That's that's what's going to happen. Absolutely. So. Yeah, it's pretty interesting stuff. Um, I see Adam yeah. complaining, you know, saying that like Grubhub is already a thing and all this sort of stuff. Like, get out of here, Adam. Right. Right. And people and people gripe about that too. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Absolutely. I seen I seen a lady the other day, she was griping about the Grubhub, like the prices are different for online and what's there, and then plus the service. And she goes, These restaurants should just open up their you know, do their own delivery. I'm like, What? You don't realize how much that takes. It's not just as simple as, "Hey, I want to hire somebody to, to to deliver our food," and you put out a couple of take a couple of applications and you hire them. It's it's not that simple. Yeah, no, it's de- definitely not that. <laughs> people are so funny with that, dude. Like, and yeah. I, I think a lot of people just they lack a complete understanding of economics. But you know what's yeah. so funny, dude, is like even the people that have zero understanding of economics, they still make up the market, which does ultimately objectively decide what is going to happen right so like they're still a part of the process despite their ignorance which is really really funny and also people give a lot of lip service like this is a phenomenon that i've seen a lot in the video game industry where people give a lot of lip service to bitching and complaining but then when it comes time to to click that button and buy that thing they're gonna do it you know Like, I've seen it so much, dude, like with the magic community in particular, right? So everybody (laughs) always bitches about the next magic thing. They're like, I can't believe they're doing this. This costs this. That's ridiculous. I can't believe it. But if you weren't buying it, if people weren't coming out and buying it, they wouldn't keep doing it. Obviously, motherfuckers are buying it. So there's a lot of lip service. But then ultimately, dude, like convenience is king. And uh, I think these people are going to buy it, dude. I, I I, think this is the new way, man. Absolutely. Just give in. Yeah, just, just give, give in. in. All right, you want to get controversial for a little bit before I get you out of here? Um, we, we can. And if, and if by that you're saying what Adam was saying about read digital comics, I do read digital comics. I've got them. Well, actually, that's funny. We Let's quickly talk about comics. Let the people know what they should be reading. But then I think you're going to go over that a lot in your stream today, too, right? Um, yeah, I, I mean, I didn't get, uh, I didn't, haven't got a lot of these, uh, read yet, but there are some, definitely some good ones. One I'm definitely interested in checking out is Firepower. It's a new series, uh, Robert Kirkman, uh, doing this over on Image Comics. Issue one and two came out today. I think that's a little, I mean, with everything going on right now, I think it's kind of, I don't know, maybe a unwise decision, put out one and two comics at the same time, but they kind of did the same thing. They released a, a trade paperback prelude to this. Um, I want to say a month ago, about a month and a half ago. Hmm, okay. So, you know, for $10. So I, I don't know. Um, but it's, it was, uh, it, it's a pretty, I, I can't wait to get into this one. Pretty interesting stuff. Uh, it seems like it's one of those things that's very tropey, but at the same time, I think he might have something new going on here. Something interesting to add, um, to, I don't know, to this kind of a story right on. and it's on image comics as well so um you know they're, they're pretty good with a lot of their titles um also you know i was surprised that the giant size phantom x or giant size x-men this week was actually pretty decent was it decent okay cool yeah recommend recommending it to the peeps 
Yeah. And also, hopefully, uh, if you didn't get that, uh, hopefully you got that Dark Knight's Death Metal new tie-in, whatever it is. Um, hopefully you had that on your pull list and your shop is like mine. And if you had it on your pull list, you get it at cover price because that book is going for a lot of money. Really? <clears throat> Any particular reason why? Or um, Because the origin story that it's telling in it, I guess it's telling the origins of a couple of characters. Okay, so people there. are thinking it's going to be a collector item down the line. Yeah, and I guess this the regular single issue is going for like twenty five bucks, and the 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 other the the B cover is going for a hundred. What? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, that's yeah. pretty cool. So 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 if you didn't get a chance to read or you're into any of that, and you don't want to pay those prices, yeah, buy the digital comic. It's out there. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. <laughs> My digital store is never out. You know, it's never sold out. Um. Yeah, never, never have a jacked up price. Yeah, so yeah, I'm over yeah. there usually. Yeah, so I'll I'll probably end up I'll probably end up uh, buying that one digitally to read, um, to to check out. <clears throat> Rock and roll. All right, let's do just a little bit of controversy, and then we'll get you out of here. Maybe you can touch on this more in your stream, anyways. And chat, I really want to know what you guys are thinking about this. I'm gonna make a video on this later today, but I would like to get a baseline for how the community feels about this and where we're all at with this. I'm talking about what happened to Gina Carano this morning and what is currently happening with Gina Carano. Are you, do you, are you aware of what's going on? Oh no, what, I, I'm not. What happened? So she's, uh, being harassed online and, uh, there's an attempted like cancellation, I guess of Gina. Um, and it's due to some comments that she made. I think it all started with a photograph that she posted. Have you ever seen that really famous photograph? It was at a, um, uh, like a rally in, with like Nazis and shit. And she's like the, or there's that one dude that's not saluting. Have you ever seen that photograph? It's, it's very famous. Um, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think I have. Yeah. So it's just like a famous thing about how, um, you know, without going to uh, without going too crazy into it, basically, like what happened in Germany was there. That was a small group of people, essentially, at first that that felt that way, you know, and then eventually a group of like six thousand people uh, was able to take over the, the basically like the mind of a 60 million population country. And that's that's how they got to where they were at. Um, so anyways. Uh, oh, Gina, okay. yeah. yeah, so Gina's posting that, and then I think there was basically some people calling her, like, racist, uh, calling her, like, a uh, bootlicker, saying she's dog whistling and all this different stuff, um, and so, like, SJWs and some NPC peop type peeps are, like, going at her hard right haven't now. haven't been able to catch a live stream in a while <clears throat> since I got my promotion. Wow. Missed the live yeah. streams. Also missed this one. Do you think they are gonna drop Black Widow on Disney Plus? Daniel, thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate the love. I absolutely think they're going to drop Black Widow on Disney+. Plus. And uh, Trin and I had a good sort of discussion about this as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I guess if you're not really following it, I don't know how much of, uh, of an opinion you can give on it, Trinity. I I'm trying to dig a little bit deeper and try to figure it out. My overall take here is that... Th this is such a shame because it shows a lot of this like this tribalism and, and stuff that you and I have talked about before where like social media has really broken people's brains because yeah. it would be really great if like a lot of the perceived people on the left or like the, the not uh, – this is what's going to happen basically I think. A lot of fandom menace people are going to stand up for Gina and that's going to make a lot of other people not want to stand up for Gina and it's going to it's going to it's going to fall across these weird stupid battle lines and the truth is yeah. you know what she is what yeah. she talked about on Twitter or like who she is or whatever is so it's so not that deep like I don't think there's been any huge transgressions you know this isn't a James Gunn situation this isn't a, a me too situation this isn't any of that right yeah so um yeah. I think it's pretty benign what she said, and I wish that I could convince people on the other side of this thing to just come out and sort of denounce the treatment of Gina because it doesn't have to be one of those political things. Like plain and simple, right. like this is just this is just not okay, no matter where you are. Um, but I doubt that'll happen because of the perception of what that would look like. You know what I mean? 
Right. And I think, yeah, I think you're absolutely right. It's, it's, again, I mean, um, really no matter what the situation is, I mean, unless the person is like a real, a real piece of, you know, a real piece of crap, uh, ch chances are like, just, you know what? Most of these people need to get off the internet. Just get off the internet. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Um, just get off the internet. I mean, whatever it takes, if you can't handle it, uh, the world, like every, everything that you're seeing out there is put out there with some sort of, uh, perception, some sort of view and not everything is done with an agenda, but so many things are done with an agenda. And so many people don't have, I, it, this sounds bad, but so many people don't have the mental capacity to understand it and kind of decipher and sift through it and make sense of it. So that's where you get a lot of these triggered reactions and things like that. And it's like, dude, like you people, you just need to get off the internet. Um, you can't internet, right? Or get somebody that can explain it to you or just realize that the internet isn't real life. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It, yeah, and it just it just gets me every every time seeing this um, because you know everything's you know everything's zero um, zero or ten you know it's it's love or hate and it can't it can't it can't be anything in between you want to draw lines in the sand uh, and things like that you know like we see it in the comic book community just stuff like that it was, it was really weird I, I I found out I was blocked by somebody the other day I'm like okay I'm like why did I post like oh, all right whatever yeah and just some of those weird things is like I mean because. Like, but I don't care about stuff like that, but other people do. And it's like, if you really care that much about some of these things, that's okay. But is it to the point where um, you're kind of running on, like disillusioned uh, in a way? Because that's what I see is so many people that are just disillusioned by everything that's going on by uh, feeding into this whole internet reality kind of thing, where most of the people I know in real life, most of the people, they, they laugh at every single thing they see on the internet. Yeah, it's just, dude, it sucks. I think, um, you know, just sort of going back to a lot, as I read that, uh, all the tweets, because Data Racer put up a thing that has, like, probably went through and found the worst possible tweets that were sent to Gina. Um, and so some of this is a little bit of, like, it's a little gaslighting. Because it's hard to tell how many people are actually being, like, super rude or aggressive or, or ridiculous. And I think there's a portion right. of, uh, like, the anti-SJWs in a lot of ways are just as bad as the SJWs, right? Like, they, they pick the low-hanging yeah. fruit. Like, they put the stuff out there that wants to incite and uh, get people, you know, fired up. But with this Gina thing, man, like, when I was looking at the tweets from these people, like, number one, I, I question whether or not they're even real. You know, right. and like without going too hard into like the whole, you know, Russian bot thing. Uh, if you don't think that shit's real, like you're just not educated enough. It is absolutely 100 percent true that China and Russia are engaged with affecting discourse in America uh, on all sorts of things. Star Wars, 100 yeah. percent that happened. Uh, yeah. Election, 100 percent that happens. People. Yeah. Well, the, it's well, the thing that's sad is that. American companies created that system to be able to monetize people better. And so right. it's not like like Russia and China didn't invent those systems, but they did figure out a way to use them to break apart discourse and do that stuff. So like some of the stuff I'm reading, I'm like, dude, is that even a real person? Like, right. come on. Right. Like, yeah. is that even a real yeah. person? Yeah, and and I, and I do think just like you kind of said too, you know, where you get where, you, where we get all this, you know, stuff. We're getting, you know, obviously there's going to be everybody that's going to kind of stand with Gina, you know, like and, and stuff like that, you know. Uh, and like you said, there's going to be Phantom Menace people. There's going to be other people out there as well, you know, that are that are that are just like, hey, man, look at this SJW culture and all this stuff, this mm -hmm. cancel culture and everything that's going on. And really, like, um, like it is, it's 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 somewhat that, but it's like this is happening due to things like that. Even if it is all the bots. It's due to all of these things that are kind of going on. And it is unfortunate because the people who are going to stand up and kind of be louder, um, they're obviously their opposition, the people that don't like them, are yeah. going to push back no matter what because they just can't take these people and anything that they're for. And there's this line in the sand, and over there is where you're at, and I can't be over there. It's just ridiculous. And so, yeah, th there's that side of it too. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just not a good situation. Just like in these things, like, when you see these things, unless you have actual definite proof, don't buy into any of that stuff, man. Um, 
that's that's the internet, man. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. But on the other, the flip side of that, though, Trent, what I was thinking about was, so the other day when, like, you know, Umberto sort of, like, tried to publicly shame us on Twitter, and I don't even know if, like, it's fully his intent. And again, my overall philosophy on this is, like, forgive all of them. That's my philosophy. Forgive all of them. Yeah. Like, if those yeah. are real people harassing Gina, I think their brains are broken. And they oh, need yeah. help. You know what I mean? They need help, Absolutely. ultimately. Yeah. But, like, so in the situation with Umberto, despite it being a very different situation, it is because I am a human, it did trigger emotions. So when you see someone with a much bigger audience than you or you start to feel like this big mob or this big audience is coming for you, it literally affects you. We have human genetic things. We were very social creatures as we evolved together. It is scary to feel like the tribe is coming for you. It's perennial. So I do think that Gina a hundred percent has had a rough 24 hours. She has a hundred percent felt a lot of anxiety, uh, emotion, depression. And I do think it's fair to say that certain publications, if this was like a Kelly Marie Tran thing, if this was a Daisy Ridley thing, they would absolutely be more apt to cover it because it fits into their narrative. A hundred percent. That's true. Gina doesn't deserve this in the same way that Kelly didn't deserve it in the same way that John Boyega didn't deserve it. It's literally all the same thing. It just sucks, man, because I I'm I'm like looking around here like where are the fucking normal people like where's the adults like how am I supposed to talk about this because I'll get heat for talking about this later. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I just I kind of wanted to talk about it and just see what you were thinking. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think I think a lot of that, too. I mean, st still comes into the thing like uh, like. I get why she like she was stressed out about it, like because this is her career, her life, you know, like um, do like that's how she gets jobs and everything. But also at the same time, I would also say that um, really stressing out about this kinds of stuff, even though it does affect your career and all these kinds of things, is really almost like putting that much energy into it is almost as bad as all the people that are putting in too much energy to the actual people putting in the negative energy into pushing into all of it in the first place. Um, at some point you got to just, uh, just draw the line and just look, look like I, I can't deal with this. And that's why she probably has uh, PR people and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Let them deal with it. Talk to them and just tell them like, like, Hey man, like I don't, I'm not going to stress about any of this. Here's how I feel about this. I'm not, you know, like let them know what the deal is. And then you're going to have to just kind of disconnect from that. And then just cause you can't, in these situations, you can't even really defend yourself. Right. You know? Yeah, you can't really only come out and make a statement, but it's like you can't even make a statement that defend yourself or anything. Like they want you to apologize, and that's something you obviously can't do because that don't work. Because then they see, like, okay, once I, Captain America said it best, you know, never let you him know, see about, you shit your pants. Huh? Never let him see you shit your pants. Oh, was that? Was that? Oh, yeah, that's I a, think that's, that, a that, comic that, book that's exactly Captain, what he said. And that's yeah. pretty much it. That's yeah. pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's funny, man. I. So I agree with you. And this is something that like John talked about with the Kelly situation. And he got so much heat for this, but he was talking about being like mentally strong and being mentally fortified. But I think like, you know, for those of you that are interested, I would look at what John said and then also look at his further explanation, because after he got all that shit, I think his explanation was great because he said literally like, hey, I haven't been strong all the time. There are moments where it really did affect me, where I had to walk away, where I had to do this, that, and the other thing. So I think that you're right to say, like, hey, just, you know, you shouldn't let it bother you and you shouldn't let it affect you. But, like, I would just say that that is a statement where you're actually sitting from a perspective of privilege, Trinity, believe it or not, um, because you don't technically know what it's like to have that much volume of attention and degradation coming at you. Very few people right. in the world actually know what that's like. So on the one hand, it's like, I absolutely agree with you. And I think it's possible. Like if you look at John, it is possible to mentally fortify yourself and to protect yourself from that. If you think about Gina, I think Gina's career has taken off like a rocket since Mando. I think Mando was, I mean, she got so much attention and love and, and a following 
because of Mando. So she's probably right. experiencing so many new things, having that much Absolutely. attention on her, having that big platform. And so, like, I think it's completely fair for her to feel however she's feeling right now about this shit. You know what I mean? Oh, so. yeah, absolutely. And well, I guess my, my thing my thing is is that when it comes down to it is instead of putting so much stock into it, everybody just kind of has to realize that there's only so much you can do. And um, obviously, you know, I mean, that's really what it comes down to. There's only so much you can do, so really only worry about it that much no matter what i mean i don't care like whether you've got you know uh how many followers you got there's really only so much that you yourself can do because you are i mean you know everybody's eyes are watching you anyway so there's really only so much that you can do yeah so try not to let the like all that negative attention um you can't let it you can't let it negatively affect your your personal being your psyche i guess you know you gotta um take time off and things like that, you know, exactly yeah. you know, just a lot of the stuff we're, uh, that we're talking about. Cause I mean, obviously, like I said, it's going to affect a- anybody yeah. uh, to, to be honest. But uh, I mean, how much that you let it affect you is, I mean, ultimately on you. And mm-hmm. um, I mean, you can only put so much stock into it. I agree. I agree. I think the way I think of it is it's like a cycle. So I think that like reactionary, st- like all humans are reactionary and our emotions are reactionary. Right. So how you feel as a thing is happening is one thing. But then, like, the beauty – and this gets into sort of, like, the Eastern philosophy and, like, meditation and stuff like that. But having a higher level of awareness and sort of being able to notice that your mind is doing this thing, then once you realize that, from that point on, it is really and truly on you. Because now you're outside of the cycle. You have the ability – to see it for what it is, and then you can choose to think different thoughts. You know what I mean? Then it's on you. But if you don't know that, if you lack that awareness, and you're not practiced in that type of you know thinking, you're just going to be completely victim to it. You know, so like right. like a friggin' deer to a salt block are most of these people on Twitter. You know, they don't. I don't think they really have fortified uh, consciousnesses. You know, consciousnessnessnessness. Right. Yeah, absolutely, and I, I, believe me, I, I I know plenty of people who are there. I mean, they're they're in the game. They don't they're not fully aware that they're playing their role in it and playing into it even. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, brother. Well, look, we'll let you get out of here so you can get uh, your stream going on. Maybe you know you'll have some other thoughts uh, about the situation or just in general what's going on in the world. Um, you got anything anything big going on? You got a uh, a nerd therapy this week? <clears throat> Um, you know what? I've 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 got to see um, if we're if we're gonna get that go get that going on. Got to uh, get get in contact with some people to, here today. But yeah, should be coming up to, should be coming up tomorrow. If not, it will be next week for sure. But should be going on tomorrow. I've got it all scheduled and all set up and ready to go. Um, that and also getting getting ready to be working on some new videos out there, guys. And if uh, you've been have or haven't been reading all the X Men books, all the X Men titles, you know it. It all kind of started off with the House of X and Powers of X. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and start kind of uh, deciphering what happened in the House of X and Powers of X and how it pertains to what exactly is going on uh, with everything that we're seeing right now unfold. Because I'm sitting here reading through all these books, and I'm like, I, I, there's kind of these recurring themes that are going on that were all set up in really the powers of X more than anything. Yeah. Um, and just all, all of this stuff going to break some of it down. And I don't know, ho- hopefully they're entertaining videos. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. No, looking forward to that, man. Definitely. Um, but yeah, thanks again uh, for being here, hanging out, man. And uh, yeah, we'll send everybody over once you get started. All right. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. All right, brother. Later. All right, everybody. What do you think? What do you think about, all the craziness. What do you guys think about what's going on with Gina? I'm really interested, mostly because I think Gina is best girl, man. I, I love Gina. It's a shame. It's a shame if she has to deal with uh, some crazy crap. Crazy crap like all of that. At least that's my opinion. But that's just my opinion and I am just a dude on the internet I think Adam broke the stream 
I think last night, Adam, because we did like a little like talk about um, streaming and stream labs and stuff. And I think Adam, he was like, hey, look, here's how you screw up your stream. Here's how you break this stream, guys. So thanks, Adam. That was cool. What did I miss? You just got here? What's up with Gina? Oh, Gina's getting canceled. The fact that you're already in her defense leads me to think I will remain there as well. I mean, you know, all we can do is just take the info for what we've got it and and just go from there. Like, I, I thought everything she did was pretty benign, really and truly. Great Council says, hashtag Gina forever. Do you have a link to the Gina issue? I mean, I'll just go on Twitter. If you want to know what's going on. <clears throat> Who's Gina? She plays Cara Dune on The Mandalorian. She also used to date Henry Cavill. 34 Virgo says, yo, Josh. What up? Yo, what up? Oh, my God. There's a Newsweek article? Jesus Christ. Well, I'm going to do a video breaking it down later. Probably going to make a lot of people upset. A lot of people going to be mad at me. She's a lot of woman. Indeed she is. Indeed she is. She's best girl, man. Gina Carano is my waifu. Perhaps had you not timed me out, I wouldn't have told you about the mess up your stream setting. Oh, shit. Shots fired. Shots fired by Adam. This is why he did all the. Uh, That's why he crushed our stream. What a butthole, huh? Hashtag thicker Bryce is nice. I agree. I agree. Thicker Bryce is nice. She was a great UFC fighter too. Paved the way for females in MMA. For sure, man. For sure. She is a trailblazer. Josh, they released a teaser for DC Fandom on the DC YouTube channel? For real? Let's check it out. I don't see it. Eight minutes ago, DC fandom. Okay, let's check it out. You guys want to go react to this? You guys want to get into the theater? Lav is coming in hot with the super chat. If they release Black Widow on VOD that kicks off the MCU, will they be able to deliver their own movies and continue, or will it come to a halt again? Hopefully. Hopefully. The purpose behind doing this is that they don't have to be delayed anymore. That they can keep it they can keep it moving. Like no matter what, they can keep it moving. You know what I mean? Let's do it, Joe Swanson voice. Right on. All right, let's check it out. Y'all ready? Oh shit! They had a uh, dark side on there. 
I love this fanfare. Whoa. Yo, that shit's going to be hype. Wait, let's just keep going. That's it, huh? I hope this is a big success for them. There's a Harley Quinn show and Flash. 24 hours only. Ah, uh, I love a good fanfare. I mean, it looks pretty Hello, cool. Everybody, and welcome. I like, I mean, I think it's all going to be pre recorded too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. We'll go just a little bit more here, guys. We'll go just a little bit more. Oh, we got another soupy chat. Hey, Josh, did you see my previous post? I asked because I just want to hear you say nerd herd. I think I saw it. You said something like, hey, you bring your nerd herd to the theater. Just bring your nerd herd to the home. Do something like that, right? Yeah, John, appreciate you, man. Appreciate the five. Who gave John Bond $5? <laughs> Can't wait for Fandome. It's the day before my birthday. Right on, GA. Right on, man. No, I'm excited for Fandome, dude. We'll be streaming that shit. For sure. Question a buddy of mine was asking last night. Do you think Disney will allow multiple devices? That's a tough one. That is a tough one. By the way, get ready to be dinged for the music. Oh, yeah, the Warner Brothers snipers are coming. <laughs> Damn, this looks great. Meanwhile, MCU fans have to get it from Jeremy Conrad and Charles Murphy scoops. Dude, I know, right? Marvel, why you do this? Trinity is streaming? Right on. Send people over. Give me one second. Trinity, are you streaming? Trinity. The man is live. Let's drop it into the chit. The chatty chat. Boom. There it is, boys. Which lucky team gets to be dominated by the nullifiers? So here's the thing. 90% chance, 90% that it's going to be fantastic for. But some of them have been affected by the hurricane and or tornado. I'm not 100% sure. I got an email this morning. Uh, where does Trinity stream? He streams on his channel. Go check it out. There's the link. Um, so... I have to make sure that the other team is okay. We might have to delay to next week because internet and power might be a situation. I'm producing Josh's album. Yeah, man. We got some bangers on the way. We got some bangers on the way. My sleep schedule is getting effed. Hey, it's all good, Burke. We appreciate you being here. By the way, Burke, I keep asking you to come on the morning stream and hang out with me, but you never want to come on the morning stream. Hashtag Burke the Nerd hates Josh. Funky beats. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, Josh. We had to wait over a month last time. Patience is a virtue. Holy shit, you did have to wait that long, didn't you? Coming on debate eight tonight? Oh, that's awesome. So I see how it is, Burke. I see how it is. I see how it is. Going over to Adam's shit, huh? Can't give no love over here, huh? All right. I see. I see how it is. Okay. All right. Right on. All right, everybody. We're going to call it for today. Get over to Trinity Stream. 
make him talk about the Gina thing so that he gets canceled as well. Follow the link over there. I'll see you guys over there real soon, okay? As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day, and I'll see you in the next video.